and I'm, I'm watching my show uh, <clears throat> with Mel Gibson. And we were soldiers. You know, I'm, I'm still a soldier, man. It didn't, uh, it wasn't my fault that I didn't go to war. Though I look like I've been through war, and I have. But um, everybody volunteered and ro raised their hand and stepped forward, n not knowing what was gonna happen. Not even in basic training. Look how many stories. You, you remember how people told you that, that uh, man, when you get to basic, you have to be this way, you have to be that way, and it's gonna be that way, and it's gonna be this way, and it never was any of those type of things. So you were, you were a scared kid going in and, and you learned to be a man uh, somewhere along the line. And others were put through more than that. They were, uh, they were pushed to the limit, man. They were pushed to the uh, point of, of being in a group bigger of uh, being a part of something bigger than their self and, and uh, told to go along with it no matter what. And, and uh, that someone's, or the majority of, of, of where we came from, our beliefs and, and uh, systems to uh, fair play and, and uh, free will is such and such and, and you're violating it, so we have to come, when people want to live like us, we have to come over and have a war or, or whatever. Most wars have been started lately on calling people a lie and insulting their ancestors and kings, their, their kings, and you say that they have weapons of mass destruction and you lie about that. So you're calling their, him as a, as a king, uh, a liar when he, he never lied. Your, your reasons for starting war is something else, but to go through this whole orchestrated play of uh, the Twin Towers falling and blaming people and, and, and uh, different clips of, uh, of different things will lead you into the point of the majority of the, uh, the civilization would think that a lie would be the truth and they'll go along with it, finding out later on that it was a lie. So by that time, you, you're in deep and, and uh, I noticed even then, America supported their president even when they know that they were wrong in invading somewhere or even that they know that they were wrong about how they beat somebody up uh, on the street or something. They, they pushed behind their president and it was a stronger nation for it. But now I see when uh, uh, the lady uh, could have been president. She uh, she preoccupied with her grandbabies and probably excited about them and underestimating her uh, competition. He he wins. Donald Trump wins because everybody's ready for some kind of change. And they was they was uh, it was supposed to be a lady president and then Donald Trump or whatever. Um, but I think whoever it is, you have to stand behind them as a nation and be. Uh, bury your, you know, it's just the same thing. Your brother go start a fight. You know he wrong, but you're going to stay and, and, and uh, defend your brother or you're going to get your butt kicked when you get home, even though he was wrong. Now, when he get home, it's a different thing. You, why did you start the fight? We know, you know, or whatever. You know, you was wrong. So you don't involve a whole country into some uh, lie or something like a vandana that are from uh, your father, somebody did something to him, so you're gonna start something with, with uh, his siblings and, and, and get a whole nation behind you over some bullshit. It's just, uh, it's amazing, it's amazing. But I guess you have to have, um, at a certain period of time, you have to have a lot of people die 
or the world will get overpopulated or something, I guess, I guess. I'm still learning every day until I die. This is my show though, I gotta watch it. We were soldiers, and that's my video and my story. <laughs>